Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough about AWS RDS pricing. Especially, I'm using Amazon RDS MySQL for my blog purposes and I believe this will be helpful if you are following the bootcamp by Andrew Brown. So let's go to AWS free tier and understand what AWS is providing for RDS under its free tier offering. Uh, I'm on the AWS free tier page. You can search on your favorite search engine and land on this page. And uh, here you will see Amazon RDS. If you are not able to find this card, just filter using this category. Click on the database and you will see the first one will be RDS. So this 12 months will start from the day of sign up and uh, you will see it's a managed relation, relational database services and under it MySQL, Postgre, Maria and SQL Server is free. So I'm focusing on MySQL but more or less everything will be applicable on the other engines also. So you will see single AZ dbt2 micro t3 micro or dbt4g micro instance uh, running mysql maria db postgre will be free so t4g will not be applicable for sql server because it is the arm based processor but t2 and t3 will work with sql server do a little bit more research on that part but let, let's focus on the mysql postgre and maria so 20 gb of ssd storage will be included and 20 GB of backup storage will be included. Important part here is GP2 storage is included. I did set up my instance with GP3 and it incur charges. I will show you in my account in couple of minutes, but make sure you selected GP2, not GP3. In case you have selected GP3, I will show at the end of this video how you can move from GP2 uh, how you can move from GP3 to GP2 and backup is 20 GB of storage. So let's go to AWS console and let's go under RDS. I have logged in and selected Singapore region in which my instance is running. But if you have set up, if you have set up in a different region, make sure you are in a right region or you selected the right region from from here. And I'm coming to DB instance. So this is my uh, RDS MySQL which is running for my WordPress blog and I'm using T4G micro as I showed it is it is also covered under the free tier so this is just a single AZ instance let me show a little bit billing part so that you will get a clarity that using GP3 what happened with me okay so I'm here in my billing section and I'm going to bills and filtering it with my last month bill April 2023 don't get confused. I have a couple of credits in my account. That's why the amount is zero. But let me scroll down and let me show you. So this RDS incur around 2.76 USD, but this all belongs to my storage cost. Here you can see it's GP3. Okay. And uh, if I set up with GP2, it will be covered under free tier. So I will not incur any cost. So make sure GP2 will be selected. Let me go and change my disk from GP3 to GP2. I'm again going to RDS, selecting DB instance, selecting and clicking here. I'm not going to touch any other setting, but coming to the storage one here, it is GP3. I'm selecting on GP2 and 20 GB is minimum. If you, if you want, when you are going to set up on the first time, you will see the minimum value is 20 GB. If you try to set up, let's say 15, it will not take or it will throw the other. So make sure to start with 20 and don't set up multiple instances. If you set up the multiple RDS in instances, obviously the compute part can be aggregated for the monthly consumption of 750 hours. If you are going to select T2 micro, T3 micro, T4 G micro, but the storage part you need to pay because 20 is minimum and 20 is only covered under free tier so do your calculation wisely and then according to that select i'm just changing now gp2 and uh, without touching any other option i am selecting continue and i want to apply it immediately again applying immediately for few minutes this service is going to be disturbed but Make sure if you have any critical application running using database RDS service, apply it in the maintenance window. So you will see here it is 
in the modification state let me try to re so here you can see my rds instance is in modifying state it will take couple of minutes but let me try to test if my blog is running or, or down but yeah it's, it's it's running i just tried to create a wordpress blog and host it on aws using its maximum of free tier services i may create a different video near future that how i have created this blog but at this moment i can see while it is modifying my my blog is still up and running so this is about this video and hope you enjoy please subscribe and you will see more videos about costing for this bootcamp in coming weeks take care thank you